Tonight, a high school student from Carrollton is being held on one million dollars bond charged with capital murder. Good evening. I'm Clarice Tinsley. And I'm Steve Eager. It's nine o'clock. Police say he told his friends, also teenagers, he killed a man. Those same friends found evidence leading them to a home on Hurley Way in Northwest Dallas. And that's where they found a man inside stabbed to death. Fox 4's Richard Reyes at the Dallas Police Department tonight with new details on this case. Rich. Good evening. The victim was found dead last night, but police now believe he was murdered weeks ago, that the killer told friends from school that he had killed somebody, but initially they didn't believe him. I know him for 20 years. Pedro Garcia lives next door to the victim. He said he was a good neighbor who lived alone, but sometimes had visitors. Had you ever seen young people go in and out of the house over there? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. yeah. A lot? Uh, not a lot, but sometimes, yeah. One of those young visitors may have killed the man who lived in this house on Hurley Way in Northwest Dallas. Dallas police got a call about 9.30 Sunday night, discovered a body in the home, but they believe the victim, an older man they are not identifying publicly yet, was actually killed on or before December 6th. That's the day that 17-year-old Marcos Andres Jimenez was treated for a laceration on his hand, taken for treatment by some of his friends. After the arrest he had been treated and released, he told the witnesses that he had killed someone, and if they told anyone, he would kill them. Police say the three friends didn't believe him in as until he showed them a bag full of items stolen from the victim, jewelry and prescription drugs, with the victim's name and address. One of the witnesses took a photograph with her cell phone of the bag, and that's how they were able to find um, the address and go to it. So two weeks later, they finally figure out that, that what he's saying is, is true. And so they all go to the house, and these are all high school students at Newman Smith High School in Carrollton. According to the arrest affidavit, the teenagers found the back door open, saw blood all over the kitchen floor, saw the victim lying face down, nude in a hallway outside the bedroom. Then they called 911. It was a wonderful man. You know, he kept to himself, he waved, he said hi. Will Gallagher lives across the street. In this day and age, a lot of people just park and walk in their home. They never wave. He was a great neighbor. Police don't know what the relationship between Jimenez and the victim was, but they say there is no sign of forced entry, and neighbors are convinced it was not a stranger-on-stranger -stranger crime. They didn't break the house. Somebody he knew. Yeah, 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 that's for sure, yeah. Marcos Andres Jimenez, uh, Jimenez now is charged with capital murder. As you said earlier, he is being held on a million dollars bond. And Steve, police say they are still looking to talk to more of his fellow students at Newman Smith High School in Carrollton that have may, may have more information to share about this crime. Yeah, it's really strange how that all played out. All right, Richard Ray live at Dallas Police Headquarters tonight. Thank you.